really very nice and soft. Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Songji. Today, I'm going to share with you how to cook the sticky rice. The improvised method of how to cook the sticky rice without the steamer and a proper sticky rice utensil. It has been a request to share the technique of how to cook. If you have just a pot, I recommend that to use the soup pot because soup pot, they are much taller, right? Because cooking the sticky rice, the idea is the, the level of the water and the rice must be apart at least minimum uh, 2 to 3 inches. Alright, to cook the sticky rice, you need to soak it for a minimum of 6 hours or if you can do it overnight, it's better. So, I have about 250 grams of sticky rice here. I've soaked it overnight. And the pot, some onion oil. This is totally optional. Water. And the steamer stand. We're using this the steamer stand to support the to support the sticky rice and the temporary steamer that we are going to make so um just we need to put the steamer stand here but just one steamer stand right it won't be enough because um we need to put the water level up to at least one or two inches up and then from the water level we need to separate the rice and the the water about one to two inches so that is why i have uh, to put a double stand for this pot just like that so I'm going to uh, remove this water and wash it and then drain out the water alright so I wash the rice and leave it on the strainer then we're going to put it aside while we prepare our temporary steamer okay to do this you're gonna need a uh, tin foil alright tin foil have to be slightly bigger much bigger than the opening of the pot so I'm going to take it out like this much all right you see I cut this big all right see the size of the pot here so we're going to make um, like a like a basket like that okay. okay so I'm gonna need two pieces of this size of the tin foil so we put it double because we need to it to be strong right okay then we just put it like that since we have already measured the opening of the pot, right? We're going to make a hole within this round circle by using the fork. To poke a hole through, right? I need to... Um, if you have something like a cooling rack here, just like that. And we're going to put a tin foil here on top. And then we're going to start using the fork to poke through and make a hole like that we could have make a lot of uh, hole here in the tin foil the hole you make within the size of this round circle only yeah don't make it out of that Be careful also when making the hole, right? Because we don't want the foil to tear. Alright, the hole is ready. Look at that. We have a lot of tiny, tiny hole here. Um, the idea is when we, when we make the little hole here, we want to have the steam to go through the hole and to cook the sticky rice. So try not to make it too small because the steam cannot go through. But if you make too big, until the, the rice grain can go through the hole, then it's not possible as well. Just the hole is not too big and not, not too small. And just make sure that it can cook the sticky rice well. So now we got the, our tin foil ready. So we're going to put it on the pot now. To steam the sticky rice, right, you need to 
put the water in the pot put some more water we just going to steam the sticky rice for just 20 minutes so water level at this much is okay it's about 600 or to 700 uh, ml of water there so now i'm going to put in the another stand to rest the um our temporary steamer when putting it in right you want to put the top part of the foil you know the top part mean that when we did a hole just now we poke through this part so it doesn't have a pieces of the foil that we poke through so it will not um, get into the sticky rice later on once it's cooked what i meant is this when you poke through right when the when the foil there and then it has a small pieces there so it's very rough here so this this side of the foil should be at the bottom so we're gonna put it down so now we're gonna press this down make it like a, a basket like that so I press it down right until where the stand is there okay now we're going to pour this out just like that you see now you have a temporary steamer so this way right whatever the steam come out from the bottom it will go through here then it will cook the sticky rice okay now we're going to put the sticky rice but first sticky rice it tend to get stuck on the foil it's cooked because it's sticky so i'm going to brush it with onion oils this is totally optional if you don't want to do it's okay if you don't have onion oil you can use just a normal cooking oil it's okay as well just for easy removal when we when the sticky rice is cooked okay all right now we're just going to put the rice putting the rice right we we want to spread it over this side and just leave an open area at the center for the steamer to come through if you can make something like this it's okay just like that to make sure that the steamer come out to make sure that the steam can get through as fast as it can okay. the steam can come through this here 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 and then it can cook the rice faster just like that and you just need to cook it for 20 minutes it's this okay so i'm going to use the tin foil again to cover it if we cover like this the steam still can escape because if it's very uh, strong steam it still can escape so you just put something heavy on it now it's really a proper steamer now we can go and cook it for 20 minutes the 20 minute is from the time when the water is boiled once the water boils, then you can just set the time for 20 minutes then you will have a very nice and soft sticky rice all right switch on the heat and for this this much of water it will take around four minutes or to five minutes to come to boil so and add on a 20 minutes so i'm going to set the time for about 25 minutes once it's cooked we can come and take a look all right the sticky rice is cooking now when we covered it a lot like that so the steam will slightly of the steam will escape from the pot just like this you see it come out from the side of the pot just a bit here and there which is okay but if you seal it all until completely that the steam cannot escape we need to make a hole on top here just for the steam to come out just a bit so that inside it will not explode so i'm just going to cover it like that let it continue to cook for another 10 more minutes all right one more minute to go so the sticky rice is cooked but just caution around on the side of the pot here at the 
and in here there's a lot of heat trap in there so be careful when you open up the cover just um, make sure that you don't burn yourself with the steam to manage it with your hand okay and yeah we have a very nice sticky rice it's well cooked so I'm going to use the onion oil to just um, brush on the spoon that I'm going to stir the rice okay see the rice is really well cooked see see very soft very nice and nice fragrance of the onion oil hmm perfect so a simple technique to improvise how to cook the sticky rice without a steamer right you can make your own steamer like that this side of uh, temporary steamer right you can even uh, steam anything vegetable or your favorite pao or something not just the sticky rice i hope this technique will benefit you somehow thank you for watching if you like this video please share with your friends and remember to subscribe for more of my simple kitchen tips like this thank you and bye bye